the Canon PowerShot G10 comes with a 14.7 megapixel CCD sensor, a 5x optical zoom delivering 28mm to 140mm, optical image stabilizer, a 3 inch LCD with 461k dot resolution, ISO sensitivity from 80 to 1600, a new Digi4 processor with improved face detection, a high ISO auto with motion detection technology, servo autofocus, eye contrast, intelligent contrast correction, dedicated exposure compensation dial, and a full range of shooting and recording modes including RAW and JPEG. The Canon PowerShot G10 comes with instruction menu, software CD, AV cable, USB cable, power cord, battery charger, rechargeable battery, neck strap, and of course, the Canon PowerShot G10 itself. Taking hold of the G10, um, the first impressions are very similar to the G9 in terms of size and weight, only slightly heavier than the G10. The most obvious difference is the top panel. We can see that the uh, ISO mode dial has been moved from the left side to the right along with the mode dial which is now on top so that they can be turned independently, one on top of another. On the left side, instead of the ISO dial, we now have a dedicated exposure compensation dial. This allows the user to fine-tune their images just the way they like it, thereby giving you more control. Looking at the side, we also have the AV out, the remote shutter connection, as well as the USB cable connector. Back of the camera is very much similar to the G9. One key difference is the LCD. Although the size is equally the same at 3 inch, the quality is significantly higher at 461,000 dots. Here we can see the images. We have the same tiltable menu. Same slider. The quality is very clear as we can see. Even the finest thread of hair can be seen clearly. So what else is the difference? Well, the lens is also different. While the previous camera, the G9, has a optical zoom of six times, giving you a 35 millimeter equivalent of 35 millimeter to 210 millimeter. The G10 actually has a smaller range, although a wider one, from 28 millimeter to 140 millimeter. While the range is shrunk, you actually have more lens elements. The G10 boasts 11 elements in 9 groups, thereby giving you a higher quality lens, delivering higher image quality. Other than the lens, there are a few other improvements as well. For example, the sensor has improved to 14.7 megapixels from 12.1 in the G9. Also, the shutter speed has increased to a maximum speed of 4,000th of a second an increase from 2,500 of a second previously in the G9. The G10 also has a Digi4 process that gives improved face detection as well as a high ISO auto which has motion detection technology involved. The ISO setting is unchanged, it's still a maximum of 1,600 with the high ISO auto which I mentioned that the sensor would then be able to detect um, motion and therefore uh, give you the most appropriate ISO setting for the fastest shutter speed possible. Accessing the menu, we see a very familiar menu interface. A few extras is like Servo AF, which is previously unavailable in the G9. What this does for those unfamiliar with Servo AF is that it will keep focusing on your subject even when it's moving. So this is great for sports or action shots. The other menus are all similar. So other than cameras, we have general settings, display and my custom 
any settings. Going into playback mode, we will have the playback settings here. With the printer settings, a direct print, settings, general, and of course again the theme settings. 